Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to dive straight into the review repository test. And before we actually get started on the review repository test, just remember that you need to add builder to the uh, model of which we are actually using because without it, we won't be able to use the builder pattern when we do our actual arranging. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna go into the repository folder that we created before, going to create a new Java class and I'm going to call this review um, repository test. So we'll go review repository test. And that will create our class. What we need to do now is go in here and create a data JPA test. And after that, we need to add our auto configure test database so that we're not using our Postgres database. We're just going to use an embedded database. So we're not mixing the test data with the real data from our database. And we're going to say embedded database H2. That looks good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go here. We're going to say private and we're going to bring in our review repository, review repository, and then just go into here, right click, generate the constructor for it, and go ahead, throw on that auto wired, and we're ready to go. So first thing that we're going to test is going to be the save all method. So just bring in here, and let's just make sure that we are bringing in the Jupyter API. So bring in Jupyter API, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna say public void, of course, because we're not returning anything. We'll say review repository test. So say review repository or uh, review repository. Then we'll go here and we'll say save all because this method, this test is going to test the save all method and it's going to test, it returns saved review. Okay, so we've got that figured out. Now what we need to do is create an actual object of the review. So we'll go here and what we're gonna do is we're going to have review dot builder. So we'll say review, let me see here, view dot builder. Then we'll go into here, go title. So we'll add a title to it and this title will be, we'll just call it title. It doesn't really matter uh, what kind of data, you just need data in there so that it so that you can test it. Then we'll go content and we'll just put content. Then we'll go here, we'll say stars and we'll say, we'll give it five stars. And make sure you put your build on the end of it to actually build the object. Next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, save a Pokemon. So we'll say here, go here, we'll say saved Pokemon. Or no, this isn't a Pokemon, this is actually a review. So saved review. And we're going into our review repository and we're going to go ahead, save it. So we'll just go ahead here, we'll save it. And that looks good. Now what we need to do is we need to bring in assertions. And it's good to be particular about which assertions that you're bringing in. You want to bring in the core API. So assert J core API, otherwise you'll get all types of crazy errors. And we'll go assert that. And we will have a, we'll put in our saved Pokemon. Then we will assert that, or saved review. So we'll say saved review. Then we will say that it is not null. We want to first test if it is not null. And go down here, do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. We'll say assert and saved Pokemon, or saved review. Don't know why I keep saying Pokemon. So we'll say assert review. And we're going to get the ID, so we'll say get the ID, and we will make sure that the ID is greater than zero. That's a good way to test it. So if the ID is greater than zero, because if it's not zero, then if it's, or if it's less than zero, it means something wrong. And if it's zero, that mean, definitely means something's wrong. So that looks like a good place to test that. So let's go ahead and here, we're gonna go ahead and hit run. Make sure we get our green check mark. Okay, looking good. So let's go ahead, that's knocked out. Let's go ahead and do our get all. So we'll go here and we're gonna say test. So test and public, we're gonna return void. It's in our review repository. So I'll say review repository. So review repository. 
and this is going to be get all. So we're going to be getting all of our Pokemon and it returns more than one review. So it returns more than one review. Okay. And looking good. Now what we need to do is we're going to have to add two reviews. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here, copy, do another one, make sure we add a two at the end of it so that it's not duplicating it. So review two, then we're going to save them. So we're going to go review repository dot save. And this is going to save our first review. And we're going to go down here. We're going to do another one. So we're going to go review repository dot save review two. Then we will go down here and we're going to do our actual acting. So we're going to actually perform the test on the method of which we are trying to test. And it's going to be a list of reviews because we're returning more than one and it will be a review repository. And we're going to find all. So we're going to find all of our Pokemon, bring in our list. And after that, go here and we can actually copy this. So we can just go ahead, copy this and paste this into here and paste this into here and this should act this first assertion should act actually work the next one we're going to test if it is equal to so we'll say and i need to fix this right here this actually needs to be we're, we're checking for the size of the actual list and we're going to make sure it is equal to two so that looks good. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Hopefully we get the green check mark. Hopefully. Okay, and we're good to go. I thought I was thinking that that one was gonna fail for a second. Okay, and remember if it doesn't work, just remember that you can go in and uh, click the red button and debug it. So if something goes wrong, just remember that you can always debug it. It's not a big deal. So go in here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And this one is so similar to the save all. We can just go ahead and up, up here and copy it down. A lot of these tests, testing is a bit redundant, but that makes it good so that you can actually just copy and paste a lot of this. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say find by ID. So we're going to find by ID for this first one. And we have our very first review builder right here. We're saving our review, which is good, but we can't just stop there. We actually need to find by ID. So we need to actually find um, the actual review that we want. So we're going to go review because we're only getting one review from this method. And we're going to say review return. So say review return is equal to review repository dot find by ID. And we are going to get the review from the builder. We're going to check that ID. And because it's an optional, we need that get on the end. And we are going to check if this one is not null. And let me see here. We're going to go into here and return. Re review return. Okay, yeah. And we could actually get rid of this because we don't need it saved into a variable. So let's go ahead, test it. We're gonna go ahead and run it. Hopefully everything should go green. And if you're building these tests in real life, you're going to have probably a little bit of a more difficult time. So just realize that if your tests are failing, it's not a big deal. You just gotta go in there, click the red, uh, click the, um, red dot and debug it if something's going wrong. T uh, tests are notoriously difficult. So just remember that if it's not working the first time, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now we need to do our update. Update's not, same situation. It's not going to be any, hardly any different. So we'll say um, update review. So we're gonna say update review. And this one is going to return update review or return review. We'll just say return review. And we need to save a review, obviously. So we need to save this. We need to save a review into our repository. Then we need to find by ID. So we're going to go up here, need to copy this, go down here, 
find the actual review and then we need to go in here and actually set some new values for this review that we just returned. So we'll call this review save and we'll go into review save and actually update these. So we'll go review save dot set title and we'll call this title just like that. Then we'll go down here, we'll do the exact same thing and we'll update another value to test it. So review save dot set content and we'll say this is Raichu. <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense. And no, let's not call it Raichu. That's that's kind of unprofessional. Let's just, let's call it content. Let's not be too goofy here. So content. Then what we're going to do is we're going to actually save the updated Pokemon. So now we need to save the Pokemon. So we'll go here. And what we're going to do is go here into review updated Pokemon. So updated Pokemon and we'll go review repository and we'll save. So save and we'll say review save. Okay, that looks good. Now we need to do the assertions. So now we need to go into each individual method or each individual property of the object that we saved. And we need to check to make sure that those values are not null. So we're gonna say updated Pokemon, updated Pokemon dot, and I think that's spelled incorrectly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here. Re updated review. And we will say get title, make sure the title is not null. Do the same thing for the updated Pokemon. We'll say updated Pokemon dot get title. And we will say dot get email, uh, not get email. Let's do get, what did we say before? Oh, we saved the content. So let's do the content. Make sure that the content is not null. So I'll say is not null, just like that. Okay, so that's looking good. So let's go ahead, make sure we test it, make sure we get green arrow, green uh, check mark. Hopefully it works. Yes, we've got our green check mark. So now what we're going to do is go down and finally do our very last one, which is going to be our delete. So this last test is going to be very similar to the Pokemon repository test. So let's go inside of Pokemon repository. Let's go down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the uh, delete out of the Pokemon repository. And then we're going to put it into the review repository and just change out the names because they're going to be so similar. So it'll say review repository, review delete, and then return review is empty. And we need a review in here. Actually, we can just go up here and uh, copy this, paste it down into here here then we'll have review repository so let's say review repository go ahead delete that we'll save it and we're going to pass in our review and here we'll just take out the review and pass in here so we'll delete by id then what we'll do is change this change this oops so go here, then we're gonna go review return. So go review return, say review repository. And then here, go review. And then we are going to assert that our review is empty. So here, review return. Let me just double check this to make sure that there's no Pokemon keywords left. That looks good. So let's go ahead and run the test to make sure that it is indeed working. So we'll go here. Go review, re review repository test, make sure we got the green check mark and we are good to go. We can finally move on to testing out our services and we can learn more about mocking. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did like, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and as always, thank you for watching.